Some Goodwill Fine. Some Jordan Nines. I don't know how much they want for these. Too many prices on them. I'm actually going to leave them, but let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Cop pass, fire the trash. Found some more Jordans here. We got some tens. $14. They must know what they got out here. You know, we're in LA, so of course they know what they got. Okay, we got some some KD 11s too. Not bad. Passing on all this stuff here. You gotta be a lot more smarter. A lot more, need these profits to be different. You know what I'm saying? Some more Jordans right there. Some more Jordans right there. But yeah, uh, first spot real quick, we're in and out. Got some KDs for 14. 14. They are tripping. CP3s. None of his shoes ever really been good to me. Some Chucks. A few things here. Nothing really for me to pick up, though. Let me know if you guys see something you guys like or something I might have passed on, but uh, nothing here. Next corner I turn, I see these. I thought they were some Kobe's from this part right here, but they're definitely not. Beat up. $14. Everything here is $14. That's crazy. Just to show you guys briefly, this is a dry fish shirt. If this is a good price, I mean, I might cop this. Looks pretty good. Got a dry fit at the bottom. That's like 3M reflective right there too. Doesn't look that bad. The graphic looks on point. We're gonna go from there. We might take that one with us. This next one for Isaiah Thomas. It's not your luck. It's not just, it's not luck. Adidas Gildan T. We're probably gonna just leave this one. It just looked good for a second. I wanted to pick it up and show you guys in the video. Got that Thomas number four on the back. If it's a white, if it wasn't a white tee, I'd probably take it. But it's white. It can get dirty from now to then. It's kind of dirty now, so I'm actually gonna pass on this one. But Thomas T. Right there. Another basketball tee now. Um, NBA T. This would be in right now because it's NBA season. Season's right around the corner. The graphics on this looks clean, bro, but the tag on this ain't. I mean, $3.99 for this? What can I get, like, 10 to 12 bucks? So $4, I would at least need to get eight. I don't know if I can, but I think I want to hold on to this because uh, it's clean. Pretty good size. Ultimate T, size large, tall. The graphic is on point. So we might hold on to this one. Moving on. Next one is this Tommy Bahama tee. You barely can see that there. That's probably why I would leave it because you barely can see that inside there. I'm going to look it up and see what's going on. It don't look like there's any stains on it. Is it $199? How much is the tag on this? $199 also. So that's what makes me think it might be worth it. Uh, I'm going to look it up and, and see what's going on with it, how much it could be worth. So this is a hold. This one here, I thought it was something real, but as I look at it more, it's not. I guess it says some things in Spanish. I lay on the bottom. If you guys seen these tees before, let me know. I think I'm going to leave it open tonight. I don't know. That's weird. i never seen it before, but if you have, let me know. But I'm going to leave that. Wango Tango. Kiss FM has this thing, Wango Tango. It's been going on for a long time, and this is uh, a tee from 2018, so just last year, almost two years ago, because we're towards the end of this year. It made me think about taking it because out here in California, somebody might want it. It's a purple tag. Purple tag is half off, so I mean, the graphic looks clean. The only thing I don't like is that it's a size extra large. So who knows? This one here, Perry Ellis. Bamboo cotton. I probably look it up to see what's going on with it because they took the tag off. But here they want five ninety nine for it. But Perry Ellis is not really in right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm gonna look it up just to see. But I doubt that I keep this. You know what I'm saying? Warriors basketball. Another ultimate T. Size large, tall. They want five ninety nine for this one though. That's the only thing. Warriors basketball. Like I said, NBA is just starting. So this could be a good buy. Maybe I can get like $10 or $12 for it. We're going to see. 
This next one, Bell Jeff. Got the Nike stitch there. Bell Jeff basketball. Now this school, there's a school out here in Burbank, Bell Jeff High School, I believe. I don't know if this is for them or not. If they were ever sponsored. I just think it looks pretty dope. Four ninety nine for it though. That's the only thing I'm iffy about. Number twenty. You know, it's a reversible jersey. I know jerseys ain't in style right now. You know what? I probably shouldn't even dabble with this. But it does look dope, don't it? Bell Jeff clean number twenty. That inside is looks dirty, the white part. And I wouldn't be wearing this, and I don't know who would really buy it. Four ninety nine. I'm gonna look it up just to see. Maybe somebody out there might want it. You know what I mean? Y'all doesn't have to look it up and see what's going on. Next one. So we are Georgetown. You know, college basketball is right around the corner. Uh, what's this? A dollar ninety nine for it. No graphic on the back. That's what I'm kind of iffy about. And it's like real wrinkled up. We need some type of garment care. So I don't know about this one myself, to be honest with you. Pow, thanks. This is a tee that they made for Pau Gasol. It's a gilded tee. Uh, I feel like this might have been given out at the game or something like that. Who knows? But you got all his stats on the back. And it's in good condition. I know there's some diehard Laker fans out there who would want this. It's $1.99. Uh, I'm going to take the chance on it. What size is this again? Extra large, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Locker room authentics. They claim this is a locker room authentic tee right here. But there's no tag on the inside. I think there would be a tag on the inside, correct? That little white lining around that. I don't know. This might be a fake Western Conference tee. 199. So I'm going to leave that too. But I just wanted to show y'all and let me know if this is something you guys would have picked up or not in the comment section below. Some shoes I came across, but that are not worth it. These do have zoom on them though. 9.99 for them. Can't even read to see what kind of shoes they are, so I'm passing. Then you have these right here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, GS size, this is a size 5Y. Not really doing much, plus all that damage on there. I'm going to just leave these here. But I just wanted to show y'all, you know what I mean? What you might see. You feel me? Now, here at the Goodwill, looking at some other things that you guys saw already. Just to show you guys a few things that I'm going through. A lot of different things, man. Going for some VHSs and DVDs, of course. I want to make sure they stay, they're brand new. I don't want nothing used. I looked all these up and they looked all pretty good at first glance, but you definitely have to go back and double check, triple check. I'm probably going to keep that for myself. Get Richard Die Trying, classic movie, especially in the hip hop community. This one right here, Purple Tax, was going to be half off. Does really good on Amazon and eBay. Keeping that for sure. All these little ones, all these Disney movies. Package. We keeping those too. We hold on to them, but like I said, I'm gonna. I came over here to my pile to double check them, but I'm showing you guys what's here, and let me know what you guys think. Are these good pickups or not? New in the wrappers, brand new DS VHSs, man. On Amazon, I feel like people's gonna buy them, especially we're in the fourth quarter now. Christmas is here. These are great Christmas gifts for kids and stuff like that. So. Boom, there's another one of these. The uh, wrappers are a little slightly messed up, but they are still brand new, so I'm gonna take them. What else we got over here? Star Wars Trilogy, DS, you know what I'm saying, 599. Another one, like what's the Star Wars, Star Trek, actually a series. You guys see things like this that's brand new, you gotta definitely look them up. Not all of them will be worth something, but all of these are. But you gotta look them up, especially if they're DS, which means dead stock, brand new, not open. I'm taking it, you know, dead stock sneaker language to threaten, them, but you know what I'm saying. It's not, not used at all. All of these kid movies, Chicken Run, Amazon sellers found some books going on here, as you guys can see. These are used books, but they definitely have something going on with them. This with a collection of everything else I'm sending into Amazon, it all adds up. So let me know if you guys know something I don't. 
or if you think some of these are bad releases or bad pickups but i think they're pretty good to go with the uh, few items i got earlier we're gonna stay here for a little bit more but here's what we got so far so now we're about to get out of here with a fully loaded box luckily you get off in the box like tetris you feel me we're about to get home let me know what you guys think about this video i'm about to get out of here have a great day wherever you are in the universe peace